People say nothing but good things about Jordan Freeman. Jordan is an awesome employee. He's super dependable, always shows up, and the thing I love most is he always has a smile on his face, so he's great at interacting with our guests, um, making a great impression, just representing Target overall as a company. Very cheerful every day, the way he treats uh, all of his co-workers and team members and the customers. Oh, that's no problem at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> The 23-year-old cashier has been working at Target since he was 16 years old. I also work guest service and sometimes I work in electronics. He is just so kind and has a great heart and is just willing to do whatever he can to help out Target and help out our guests here. At a very young age, Jordan was diagnosed with meningococcal toxema, a disease that forced his hand to be amputated and caused dwarfism. But he says it doesn't hold him back a bit. I have had this condition since I was seven months old. Um, so I really don't know any different. I just kind of adapt to whatever situation I'm in, whether it's uh, cooking at home or if it's working here. I can't really remember having to face any specific obstacles. <laughs> and while he embraces the idea of being an inspiration, he doesn't want it to be because of his disability. I don't really um, try to be inspirational because I have a disability. I just try to inspire people to live their best life, have fun, be social, get out of their comfort zone, have crazy hair, having a great spirit, having a great attitude, meeting new people and trying new things. That's what I like to inspire people to do. Of course with more than six years at this exact Target location on Hoover Road in Longmont, Jordan has made his fair share of relationships. Oh yeah, definitely. People will wait longer just to, you know, see Jordan be in his line. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's there's probably a dozen people that you see, you know, on a weekly or bi-weekly basis that, you know, you know their names, you know their families, you know their stories. He looks forward to seeing them and they look forward to seeing him. There isn't any reason to be down and grumpy when you walk in and, and see. Um, what I like is that, that uh, he changes his appearance, sort of each time I come into the store because his hair's a different color, a different shape, and but it's always the same smile and good positive outlook. No matter who you are, where you're from, or what your struggle might be, we could all learn a little something from Jordan Freeman. For News Team Boulder, I'm Ryan Konigsberg.